the reason why is, again, the first main thing, guys, is we only want to apply synthetic division when our divisor is um, to, a, a, to, to the first power, right? So again, to set up this, um, now again, guys, when we're looking into this, we can't, we're not using long division. What we want to do is try to treat this like as the 0. So the first important thing would be to set this 1 minus x equal to 0. And therefore, we could say x is going to equal 1. That's what's going to be on the outside using my synthetic division as a 1. The next thing, though, is we need to rewrite this in descending order. And we also notice that when we rewrite this in descending order, I don't have a cubed. So what I'm going to use is use a placeholder 0x cubed minus x squared. And then I don't have, a zero, I don't have an x, so I'm going to use a 0x plus 2. This wasn't important in long division. Like, you could do it or not do it. It just depends on what you are familiar with. You have to do this for synthetic division. So now we take each coefficient, 3, 0, negative 1, 0, and 2. OK? So bring down the 3. First one, that's the freebie, right? Everybody loves the freebie. F multiply on the diagonals, add on the verticals. 3 times 1 is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. OK, that's fine. So we have a remainder, right? And that's fine, because I was just asking you to divide. So it's either going to divide evenly, or it's going to divide with the remainder, right? I didn't say that this was a factor. If, the, if I said this was a factor, we know that the remainder would have had to have been 0, right? But I didn't say it was a factor. I just said divide. So remember, to now find out what our quotient is, goes remainder, constant, coefficient of our linear, coefficient of our squared, coefficient of our cubic. And then we can just keep on going higher and higher. So our answer is 3, our quotient is 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then remember, always take the remainder and put it over your divisor. And that would be our quotient, our, you know, let's say our q of x. If you want to write it as a function, q of x. Okay? However, I didn't just say divide. What I said was divide and check your answer using the remainder theorem. So what that means then is if I take this original function, let's just you know, call this fx. If I plug in f of, uh, what was my 0, f of 1, I should get 4. I should get the remainder. If I plug this 1 into my original function, I should get 4. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go and see if that works. I'm going to call this f of x, by the way. So if I plug in a 1, I get 3 times 1 to the fourth minus 1 cubed squared and then plus 2. So I get 3 minus 1 plus 2, which equals 4. So therefore, I know that I didn't make a mistake using my synthetic division that I did that correctly. Does that kind of make a little bit of sense, Asimenos? Yes?